And you all know that everything is poor in this country, including our drainage system, settlements, our gutters. Our gutters are what choked and sick of. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ken Prince. I want you to subscribe, share, and like this video. Thank you. Hey, what's up, people? It's a working brace, and I'm back again with a new video. All right, so let's talk about plants in Accra. And honestly speaking, it's very, very sad that this thing has been going on without what, any proper solution. It has been going on over and over without any proper solutions. You understand? And the saddest part is you see people's life, people's what, properties in jeopardy. And then you see Nadmo officials will be there, they will take pictures and uh, after that, you know, nothing serious happens. I don't know what's going on in this country. So talking about floods in Accra, um, you know, it's rained heavily for almost like four hours continuous in some part of Ghana, especially Kumasi and Accra. And it caused huge calamity, especially that of what? Accra, where you see a lot of flooded areas. And it was very dangerous. Very, very what? Dangerous. You know what? Let's watch some of the scenes from the flooded areas in Accra yesterday. The whole place is flooded. Yeah? This is very serious now. This is very serious. Imagine. What? Very dangerous. Oh. 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 This big building, where you know what you do drainage, common drainage. Oh, it is the best thing government can do for you. Hey! Boy, and now I can know it for more. Uh, oh, Charlie, 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 my goodness. Hey, don't want to check out anymore. Don't want to check out anymore, Musa, boy. And what is he doing in the car? I can't go down. Look at this, bro. <laughs> and to think of Accra being our capital city is one thing way to drive me crazy right now. You understand? How do we show this to the world that our capital city or Ghana's capital city was like this yesterday? You know, um, I have few questions to ask. Who are we blaming? Are we blaming the government or we are blaming ourselves, we the citizens. Because, um, um, yes, the government are supposed to, they are supposed to fix all these things, but they are not doing it. So what are we, the citizens, doing? Eh? Are, you go, are you going to continue, go through this stress before you go to work or what? And I don't think our president will woke up and drive through all these flats before he gets to his house, never. You are the citizens. You, the citizens, are going to go through this stress. So what are we doing? What are we doing? And you all know that everything is poor in this country, including our drainage system, settlements, our gutters. Our gutters are what choked and sick of ignorance. People knew where they were going to build a house was going to what, cause a problem for them, but they insisted on what, building the house. And look at all these things. It has been happening all over and all over. No proper solution to this. But we just the hope say we go find what solution, and our dear government officials, our our, our president, our, we will beg you people, we could do something for us because we can't continue putting our lives in jeopardy like this. Eh? Whenever it rains heavily, then boom, flats, flat, flat. I'm not saying that this happens only in Accra, but it's it's just a shameful act. Look at this 
picture. The water was invaded into the old guy's room. Look at this. I start to see all these things all over the internet. And whenever you, you say this, some, somebody will come to you and say that, oh, this thing does not only happen in Ghana, it happens uh, in, in other parts of Africa. Bro, I began it where I did Ghana. So if something that happened for Ghana, I will talk about this. If something that happened for Congo and Senegal, I mean, I mean eh? if it happened for Ghana, where we see say old, it will tarnish one image. I will talk about this. Let's find a solution to these things because it's sad. It's it's crazy. You understand? All right. So that said, this will happen in Accra yesterday. And trust me, if no measures are put in place to solve all these things, it's gonna happen again and again. You all go see. We did 2022. Months to come, years to come. If all these things are not solved, it's gonna happen. We just hope say proper solutions gonna be what could be done. You understand? Alright, so this was it for you guys today. Thank you for watching this. My name is Kim Prince. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Latest news in time. Yes. Content will go bust your minds. I sign out. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you.